Hello guys, this is Suresh from Mesa Automation channel. Today we're going to learn a concept in the Python automation, which is one of the most popular and widely used for unit testing. So in the Python, we have n number of test runners. In them, the most widely used ones are unit test and pytest. And we are going to discuss a unit testing concept here. So if we brief about this, so I will give a short description for it before we start. So unit test is built from the standard Python library since 2.1. And it comes with testing framework and also the test runner. So this is the major advantage of using this test unit test. And the main thing that is required, so we can say if it is a requirement specific, we need a code which is written using uh, classes and functions so generally whenever we write right obviously automation test can be run in the python class without any class and uh, functions but to implement this test runner we need class and functions in it and we have some built-in assertion statements in this uh, unit test so we're going to discuss each and everything step by step so we will get start with uh, our basic example. So how you gonna simply without any test classes or uh, functions, how you write any automation code. So I have designed one test case for that. So this is the one of the Python file. So this is one of the uh, basic project. So I just uh, installed the PyCharm and Python. And uh, after uh, installing the PyCharm, we just need to go to the files. So if you go to the files and if you go to the new project, you just create a project with naming something else. Okay. Now I just created here a unit test as in one of the project name and under that I created one test Python class file. So under Python class file, I just created a driver initiation and then uh, implicit weight and what website that we are calling and after that i'm just trying to log in into the application using this uh, statements and some quit and close browser close so if i execute this for a quick run so now it will open a website it will maximize and it will try to log in into the website and it closes so this is how we learn and implement our test right so we start like this and uh, we end up with frameworks so now we're going to step forward and create a framework structure there so as we discussed so to implement unit test so first and foremost thing is we need to import unit tests so already i have created here one import statement you can see here import unit test so on creating this it doesn't mean that it is a unit testing framework you know right how and what is the importance of unit test we write to check whether our code source code is correct or not so similarly as i've mentioned the requirements the code must be written using the classes and functions so for that i will create a class and this is one of the login function right so i will say login test and i will open with an braces okay now end with semicolon so now we created a class under that class we have this is the code so it cannot run directly so we need to create some functions so to create functions we need to first call the unit test unit test so where we're going to call that unit test so as we imported unit test here login test under that i'm going to provide an argument or a parameter called a unit test so unit test so this is the test case that we are going to build right so we have many in it you can see this is the implementation class and we have a base test suit and we have function test case then we have isolated async so we have many here there are many skip up, skip test and we have a test load program and result and we will discuss one by one later on in upcoming sessions but for now we do will discuss about test case so i think test t is a capital test case so after that we need to create a functions in python we will call every function with a definition so definition we will say setup class so setup class so it will take an argument called cls it's a representation of class you can arise it and you can set any name but i'm uh, i'm taking a default one as cls 
so in the setup class what is the things that we generally use like setup or startup so anything so driver initiation and some wait time for the page load and everything this is very explicit wait or driver launching a website so all this comes under setup so i will capture or cut from there and i will use this here this is startup class now i wanted to create a test class or a test method so for that what you can do is so in the python every test method has some syntactical usage or we can say the syntax how we can create a test method so for that I'm just simply go here and in the new line I will say a definition so every test method in the Python will start with test underscore so whatever name that you wanted to suggest here you can write like in my case it's a login right so I will say login test case and here we will take a self as an argument and I will capture all this code from here and in the test I will paste it and here you will notice there is an error coming up here it says unresolved reference driver and it is asking me to import some uh, library so I won't don't do that but instead I will just copy this self from here I will say self dot driver and this is also self dot driver and this is also self dot driver so in this way the errors will go away and uh, then after we have a tear down here so to close that tear down so we'll again create one more definition let's say this is us tear down class so it's a tear down class not a test or self so we need to say that tear down class and under that tear down class we have to mention these two these two lines now here also it is saying errored so you need to copy this CLS and I will say class dot driver and same dot class dot driver. Now before implementing this unit test concept, how the flow of the code look like? It look like clumsy, right? Now you can clearly understand what we are doing here. So this is the four lines. It is one of the source code that we are trying to test, and this is one of the source code snippet that we are trying to test in this test condition and in the tear down also we will do the same thing so we are saying setup class but we need to specify this is a class method right again the tear down so for tear down also we need to set up this is a class method or else it will confuse whether to execute which one because the test method we don't need to specify but for a class method we need to provide as a class method as with an annotation so once it's done we need to simply go to this run and go to the edit configurations so we need to do one small change here so we need to go here and I think it's already configured here you can see here but let me delete it and add it for you again so I will delete this one as well now here we need to go to the run debug configurations so there you would click on plus add new configurations and you need to go to the Python test and you need to go to this unit test so unit test in the bin and you need to select this target as module name and in the module name we need to specify what is that test so we need to specify login test and interpreter can be the same thing what you are using at present and you click on apply click on ok so this is all done so when you right click somewhere or anywhere in this program you will see run with unit test for test demo hrm so we click run it started execution so it has opened this website and it has performed so you will see here test execution you will see running test what it has performed it has opened the test demo hrm so test demo hrm under that we it is opening the login this is a login class and then you have a login test case now uh, i will try to add one more test case to show you how it is identifying the test cases so now definition again I'm giving the same test I will say logout logout test case right this is a test case right right now we'll go to the website now here so once we log in here there is a name 
so in the drop down you have this lockdown so I will write an XPath for this so what is it so it is one of the attribute called name um, but I need to go to this list icon so after that list you have this ULLI and what else you have you have ID app so under ID app from parent till this is a P tag so under P tag how many P tags are there let me try with a simple P tag P and open close traces so I'm just using for now I'm just using a simple class here let me check whether its occurrence is one of one so its occurrence is one of one then we can use it so its occurrence is one of one so I will copy this and I will go to the PyCharm here I will say self dot driver dot find element and in the find element I need to specify by dot x path now I need to provide this x path so this is action that we need to provide it's a click action click now again go back now we need to click on logout so now it's a link and it's a logout right so I'll just copy this logout and I will say self dot driver dot find element I will say by dot link text it's a link text right so link text what is the link for it so it's a logout so I will click save it now you can see here it's so only it is showing under class there is only one test but now I have one more test here now I will right click here and run it now you can see it has started execution it should log in and then after it should log out now you can see it is run a login test class under that you have one test case and another test case two test cases are there here so this is how we can configure unit test test under library and uh, you can perform unit testing so this is the one way of executing and there is one more thing is that you can run this via command line but to run in the command line we need to specify one condition so in the at the end of the end of the class or end of all classes you need to write if underscore underscore name equals underscore underscore main underscore semicolon and you need to specify unit test unit test dot main right and you need to specify method so now you can see we have given this condition and you can see this is a command line parameter or command line program that runs a set of tests this is primarily for making a test module conveniently executable so now I am going to run from the command line so how you can come run from the command line so no need to worry because we are using a PyCharm here in the PyCharm we have inbuilt terminal here so how you need to perform or which command you need to provide you need to provide Python Python M unit test and uh, this is the class this class is login test hit enter I think uh, it's we already given this command now what I will do I will just remove or I will just use Python because as we given this command line argument uh, the condition here so I will just say Python login test right it should perform so if you're not specifying that uh, condition then it will fail I think we need to provide some folder structure as well so this is there in my project so under test project but this should run so it says no such file right it is running now I think I provided a backward slash 
so just a file name uh, we need to provide so if we provide that file name it will run correctly now you can see it has performed that run and it has given you the result now for say example this I wanted to give one more test but I will try to explicitly fail that so I will say this and I will specify this as a failed test I'll quickly save it and now I will right click and run I think uh, I'll use one thing now we got two passing test cases and one failure test case right and you will see uh, it has given some error uh, no error right so I will just quickly run again just to provide some information about we need to see for the failures and right, there is a failure and but we don't know what is a failure right so we need to get the failure details results so it has given some details here it says assert failed so it has provided some uh, few information but if you want more information in the console so what you can do is you can do one command so in the terminal use the pip install pip install nose 2 so this is one of the library it is also one of the test runner so once we install and after that we need to run with python hyphen m nose 2 so now it has performed a test right so let's wait for the results so it has performed the entire test execution now you will see or you will notice there is a logging change if I move it upwards and you will see it has performed some tests it has run two tests and uh, uh, no this from here so it has a there is a failure there's a failure called a test failure test case and you got this information which test or which condition it has failed so earlier it was showing the dot dot symbol right so the for the pass but for the fail we did, haven't seen but if we execute that via uh, before installing this node 2 you will see just a dot dot f f refers to failure and you will don't see this information but if you have this nose installed then you will see which condition or which test method failed hope this session is helpful for you in case if you are new to my channel do subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions queries do post in my comment section i will help you out